This unit is on sauces and you will be making a great deal of different sauces for this unit. Sauces are very savory, they're great, um, you're going to thoroughly enjoy this unit. A sauce is basically a liquid with some thickening agents and seasonings. In order to have a good sauce you need to start with a good base which is usually a stock. It's usually beef stock, chicken stock, a vegetable or fish stock. Occasionally some uh, sauces start with uh, a milk base but generally it is some type of stock. You use a thickening agent to get the texture, flavor, and appearance you want and some seasonings. The thickening agent you use depends on what type of sauce you're making. A roux is the main type of thickening agent even though it's not used for everything. A roux is an equal combination of flour and fat. So if you have a tablespoon of flour you need a tablespoon of fat. If you have a pound of flour, a pound of fat. It's equal amounts. A white roux is cooked very, very quickly and it's used in white sauces. A blonde roux is cooked a little longer so it's just starting to change color and that's used in ivory color sauces. And a brown roux is cooked until it develops a dark color and that's used in your brown sauces like a brown gravy. And here are some pictures of each of those. You have your white, your blonde, and your brown. There are two ways to incorporate a roux into a liquid without causing lumps. Once you have lumps, you pretty much have to start over. It's impossible to break them all. If your stock is cold, it can be added to a hot roux. So if your roux is in the skillet and you've been cooking it and it's hot, then the stock you add should be cold and you're stirring vigorously very, very fast with a whisk. If your roux is at room temperature, then your stock can be hot. And again, you always stir very, very quick with a wire whisk while you're doing that. You will know instantly if you have those backwards because your roux will instantly make lumps and you will need to start over. Other thickening agents that can be used are cornstarch. With cornstarch, you make a slurry, which is a combination of cornstarch and water. And this is used in Asian foods like stir fries. Cornstarch is also used a lot in pies to thicken an apple pie or a cherry pie. Arrowroot. Beurre is equal weights of flour and whole butter and this gets whisked in just before you serve it. It's not cooked like some of the others. A liaison mixture of egg yolks and heavy cream. And then there's an emulsification like making mayonnaise and there are permanent emulsifications which stay thick and semi-permanent which will break down. There are five families of sauces and these are considered the mother sauces and these you need to know, you need to memorize them. These are the five building blocks to every sauce in the culinary industry. Bechamel, Volute, Espanol, Tomato, and Hollandaise. Your bechamel is your white sauces or your cheese sauces. This is what you made when you had fettuccine alfredo. It's the white sauce that's used in spinach lasagna. Bechamel, if you can just remember, it's your white and cheese sauces. And so anything that has a sauce that color came from this family. The velouté family is a fish sauce and it's pretty much just used on fish dishes. It's made with a fish stock as its base. Espanol is a brown sauce. So julie, which is often served with Italian beef sandwiches, a mushroom sauce, which is often served with steak, Chateaubriand, which is another sauce that's served with tenderloin cuts, and Chateaubriand is also a cut of meat, and it's often served with a Chateaubriand sauce. But these all have usually a beef stock as their base. The tomato sauce family all of you are familiar with. There's Creole, which is used to make jambalaya. There's your Spanish sauces like salsa and mole sauce. Your Italian sauces like marinara. All of those um, start with the tomato base. And then lastly is the Hollandaise family. This is, this is a very rich sauce made with eggs. It is served with eggs benedict. It's served with golden shrimp. Now golden shrimp is the name of a specific dish and they put this hollandaise sauce right on top of each piece of shrimp and they cook it or steam it until that egg solidifies and cooks. Other sauces that fall under one of those other categories would be like barbecue, pesto, flavored oils, your gravies. Your gravies are a white sauce. You know, your barbecue falls under the tomato family. If you have any questions, please feel free to talk with your instructor.